Yo, YouTube, team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And the Ravens have made their first cut of the day, uh, letting go Jelly, Justin Ellis. And I remember when we signed him uh, a few years ago uh, because he came on with uh, Dom Pico uh, when we signed both of those two defensive linemen. And they they stayed around, and they they definitely made an impact on this team. Uh, now let's let's read the report from uh, Ian Rappaport. He said the Ravens have released defensive tackle Justin Jelly Ellis. So it said uh, he could return on the practice squad. So if he did, that would not be a shock. But what I think this means uh, is an indication that they are really feeling Broderick Washington. And with Broderick Washington, I think we had already gotten several indications that they really love Broderick Washington because, and I don't mean to bring this up, but it is part of my point. When the thing off the field happened with Broderick Washington, and hopefully that's done in the past, it's over with. Um, but when that happened, I thought, okay, yeah, he's done. He's done. Even if he stays around the team this offseason, nah, yeah, he, he's done. Ravens are going to release him. They, they not going to. Nope, they, nope, mm -mm, they're not doing it. But they kept him on, and I was like, okay. I was shocked. I was, I was shocked. I was surprised. Uh, and then um, I, <laughs> I saw why they kept him on the team in that first preseason. This dude jumped out on the screen. I was like, man, who is number 96? And then I looked at the back of the jersey, and it said Washington, and I was like, oh, okay now. I see. And I think with them releasing Jelly, who – is a veteran um, that lets you know, like, hey, we we like our young defense, interior defensive lineman depth, and Broderick Washington and Matt Abike. Uh So we we like what we got coming up next, and them boys are up next because right now it's obviously Calais Campbell and Brandon Williams and Derek Wolf, but. Matt Abike, he ain't that far behind Broderick Washington. He's right there too, um, and, and then there's Aaron Crawford as well. We'll see what happens with him. Now, him, uh, I don't know yet. I think he could also be cut, and they may try to. But the practice squad only has so many spots. It only has so many spots. So we'll see. Anyway, um, Jelly, he, again, love his contribution. This isn't really a huge shock or anything like that. It isn't anything like off the wall, crazy, anything like that. Um, but it is still a, a significant release. More so because of what it means for the people who they kept and what it is an indication of. So, like Jelly is with the Ravens, at least for now. At least for now. We out.